Hello everyone. Today we will continue our class speaking about circles and its properties. In the last two classes we said that if we have a circle defined by its equation which is x minus x1 squared plus y minus y1 squared equals the radius squared we said that we can define a new line which is the tangent of this circle and we can define and find the equation of this tangent at this point for example for this circle which has a center which is c a b and has a point end point which is d x y so we can find the tan tangent which is in this case a b by just finding some steps the first step should be finding the slope of this radius how to find the slope of this radius as we said we have to find the we have two points y1 y2 in this case c and d so we can find m which is the slope of this r and then after finding the m the slope of this radius we can find the slope of this tangent by just taking the negative reciprocal of this m so basically I, I will just multiply by negative so this would be 1 over negative 1 over m the slope of a b and then I will use the normal equation of a line which is y minus y1 equals the new slope x minus x1 so basically two steps the first one is to find the slope take the reciprocal negative reciprocal of this slope and then use the equation of the line to find the tangent of the circles the most important property of this tangent is that we have a right angle between the radius and the tangent at this point and as we said for each one of these circles we have infinite number of tangents at each one of these points like D we can define a new tangent of this circle now let's talk about the properties of these lines of these tangent lines to a, to a circle as we said the first property of the tangent is that we have a right angle between the radius and the tangent so we cannot define a tangent without having this right angle so once we see a tangent line and a radius immediately even if it's not given or if it's not declared we can say that since this is a tangent immediately a b is perpendicular to b d because it's a tangent so the main property of the tangent is the right angle between the tangent and the radius for example look at this question is asking me if you have this circles and you have these lines and he's asking me about the line ts is it a tangent to this circle the circle defined by this symbol the center r of this circle and y so to prove that this is a tangent or st is a tangent to this circle we can prove if we can prove that this is a right angle immediately this means we have a tangent which is st to this circle so how to prove this is a right angle in this triangle we can use the old way which is the pythagorean theory and prove that this is a right angle how we can take the two legs the squared of these two legs if it's equals to the hypotenuse then we can say this is a right angle so we can say 11 squared plus 43 square is it equal to 45 square if so so immediately we can say it's a tangent if it's not we can say we cannot have a tangent st at this point so in this case it's not a tangent okay take a look at this example this is another question 
He's saying in this diagram, if S is a point of tangency, so he's asking me to find the radius R of this circle. So basically, guys, once you see this word like a tangent or a tangency point, immediately you can say we have a right angle in this case between TS and SR. So how to find this radius R or how to find this leg which is ST in this triangle, in this right triangle. The old way which is Pythagorean, this length between this point and the R is 36. So immediately I can say this one squared plus this one squared equals to TR squared. So I can say the full length of TR is 36 plus R. So now I can apply the Pythagorean theory. So I can say 48 squared plus R squared equals TR squared, which is 36 plus R squared. So I have to solve this equation by just taking the brackets and factorization, fact, factoring the brackets we can have this equation and then we have a quadratic equation and then we can solve this to get the final answer which is r which is the radius of the circle so guys basically we follow the rule that whenever you have a tangent line we have a right angle between the radius and the tangent line okay Let's take another property of these segments, of these tangent segments or lines. In this property, he's saying if we have two lines or two segments from the same exterior point, which is in this case A, and both of these lines are tangent to this circle or to the same circle in two different points, and the first one is C, the second one is B in this case, so these two segments or these two tangents are equals so basically from the same points we have two different tangents to the same circle so ac equals to ab so i can say this tangent or this segment is equal to this segment and normally in side questions we have such a figure or such a diagram and he's asking me to find one of these length without even saying that they are equal. So basically, once you have this exterior points, and we have two lines coming from these, from this point, immediately I can tell AC equals to AB. Let's take a small example about this property. Okay guys, and this example is saying that we have two tangents to the same circle R. So we have a circle R with the center R and we have two tangent points, tangency points, S and V and we have one exterior point which is, which is U in this case. So the first tangent, the second one, is asking me to find the variable X because he's saying the length SU is X squared minus 4 while VU is 21. So basically I can say that VU equals to SU and applying this would lead to X squared minus 4 equals 21. Solving this equation, X squared equals 25, so X equals 5. By the way guys, in this example, X could be a negative 5. But sometimes in some cases, we cannot accept the negative answer because x should be positive because it's a length of one of these sides but in this case because we don't have any sides which is x so yes we can say x could be negative 5 that's why we have to be careful about which x exactly is it a distance it's a length is it a length or it's a, just a normal variable as in this case This is another example, the same concept. We have one exterior uh, points and two tangency points. So we can immediately say to find x, 2x plus 10 equals 3x plus 7. 
So solving this equation would lead us to finding x. Okay guys, try to solve these two questions for the next class. Thank you.